Decky and Eland and Alice today. Um, we are going to start our music class. This is our one of our weeks before Halloween, so we're going to have some Halloween fun today. We're going to start our music class reviewing what we did last week, and it was called the Halloween Stomp. And remember, when we turn this on, we've done, we've done it last year, so oh, I need to move my stool here so I don't fall. Remember, put your, hand, put your hands in the air, clap, clap, shake them everywhere, turn around on the spot, walk around like a robot, step to the left, Step to the right, swing your hips side to side, stomp, 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 it's the Halloween stomp. Stomp, 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 it's the Halloween stomp. You'll remember this song, it's really fun, we did it last week. And um, go ahead and whatever, whatever Halloween costume these people are wearing, that kind of gives us a reminder of what we're supposed to do with our, what kind of actions we're supposed to do. I'm gonna turn it on and let's do it together. We're gonna fly. Stand up. Up. Two, three, four. I'm a prancing princess. Yeah, yeah. Hands in the air. Clap, clap. Shake them. Turn around. Robot. Step to the left, step to the right, swing your hips. Here comes our stomp. Stomp, stomp, 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 stomp. Werewolf wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Trick or treat, conga. Trick or treat, conga. Put your hands in the air. Clap, clap. Turn around on the spot. Walk around like a robot. Step to the left, step to the right. Here comes our stomp. Stomp, stomp, 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 stomp. Here comes our witch's brew. Stir your soup up. Boing, boing, boing. Clap, clap. Shake them. Turn around on the spot. Walk around, step to the left, step to the right, swing your hips, stomp, 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 This time now, we're gonna do something with rhythm sticks. And if you don't have rhythm sticks at your house, which you might not, um, go ahead and pause this. And you might want to grab some wooden spoons from the kitchen and you can use those as rhythm, rhythm sticks. You can use two pencils. I'm going to use, um, I'm gonna use the rhythm sticks that we have here in the music room. And I'm gonna point along with you. And we are going to look at the kind of notes that they want us to do. This is the Adams Family song. And I think you'll recognize it's kind of fun. Da 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 da, clap, clap, da 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 da, clap, clap, okay? But sometimes you're gonna be doing toss, and I need to get some sticks here. It might tell you to go ta, rest, ta, sh, ta, 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 sh. And later there's gonna be some T's, T T's, that are gonna go T T T T, sh, sh, T T T T, sh, sh, T T T T, T T T T, T T T T. So if you need to pause this and go find something to play with, it's not going to be any fun if you don't if you don't have something to play with. You don't have to stand up for this, but you do have to follow along, and I'm going to point to the right notes. So this is the Adams Family. Put this on pause if you need to get something to hit, for, like for a stick.
Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Just a minute. You're going to start to see something right here. Here we go. One, two, go. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, ta. Here comes the hard one. Ti, 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 ta. 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 Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Now we just wait. Here we go. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Ti, 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 ta. Back to the beginning. Ta, 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 ta. Ti, 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 ta. Ti, 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 ta. Okay, there we go. Hang on. Now we've been working on different rhythms. Last week we were working on some rhythms where you had a worksheet where you needed to write down, you needed to listen to some words that had to do with fall. Maybe it said apple, apple, and you had to look at the top and figure out which rhythm was correct for the words. And then you had to write them. There was a, a, there was, um, a column and you had to write down which column those fall words went into. Maybe it was scarecrow, scarecrow, Falling leaves, falling leaves. Today, this is a really fun one because this has to kind of do with Halloween candy. And there are different choices of boxes up here. This is a worksheet that's going to be sent to you. So you can print it out and you can write on the worksheet and that's kind of like a little homework. And then you're gonna take, have your mom or dad take a picture of it and, and send it back to me so I can see how you did on your work. Now there are five choices of rhythms. Remember this rhythm right here is ta, 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 ta. There's only two syllables or two parts to the to the words in that. Here we go. This is t t t t t t t t. So again, when you're looking at these candy wrappers and trying to figure out what these are called, you might count how many syllables they are. T t t t. There's four syllables. This one is t t ta t t ta. And so, um, and you're just going to think how you say this stuff in normal. Don't 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 say it out loud and say it how it doesn't fit. This would be how you normally say it. If you saw, if you were in the store and you said, I want, dad, may I please have a butter finger? You're not going to say butter finger. You're not going to say, dad, may I please have a butter finger? You're going to say, dad, may I please have a butter finger? T, 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 T. So that's your clue. T, 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 T. If there's four parts to the word when you say it out loud, then that, then you, you look for a box up here that has four notes. This one is T, T, Ta. T, T, Ta. Or fast, fast, slow. Okay, some of these might fit that that um, rhythm. Ta ti ti, ta ti ti. Okay, think about that. There's three syllables to, to whatever this candy is, and and it's slow at the beginning, and then it's fast. This one is ta. Sh. Most likely, there's only one syllable for that one. So what you're going to do, and I will um, give you an example of what this is. This first one is this is kisses. Okay, you just say kisses. There's two parts to that word. Kisses. Okay, so I'm going to look up here. Which one has two parts to the word? Or which um, rhythm has only two? And so I'm going to say it's this one right here. So I'm going to write next to this two quarter notes. Kisses. Okay. Kisses. Ta, ta. And I, I looked at my choices up here. I looked, is it this one? Is it this one? This one? This one? Or this one? And I think this one fits. First of all, I counted the syllables. Kisses. That was my first clue. And then I looked up here and which of these had two syllables. And in this case, there's only one box, one choice that had that. So I wrote this in here. Kisses. All right. Now that's the first page. The second page is for you. And it looks like this. 
Okay, um, the second page looks like this. It's the same, same kind of candies on the top and the directions say, there's a song at the top, it says, Halloween apples, trick or treat, give me something good to eat. Okay, and then down here, you can write your own part of the song. And so in each box, you're going to choose one of these candies and you're going to write the name of the candy at the bottom and then the, the correct rhythm. And again, if you don't remember the, which rhythm goes with which, the back side of this, which looks like this, this, was, this is exactly like what's up on my whiteboard. Um, you can look at, you can use this for a helper. This would be a help sheet. This kind of reminds you what the rhythms are. So every single box, you're writing your own song. You're, this is the first part of the song and you're finishing this part right here. And you are going to, I did the first one for you. Just I just picked M&Ms. T T Ta M and M's. Okay. Then you could pick any of the other candies and you can put one of the candies in this box, put a different candy in this box, different candy in this box, down here, down here, down here. And then you're going to write the rhythm on top of it. Okay. So that's the correct rhythm. You can use a candy more than once. You don't have to just use just one, um, only, only one time. If there's something that you like a lot and you want to make your song more about Butterfingers or Nerds or Snickers, go ahead and do that. But this is your homework for this week kind of a fun little Halloween candy um, activity, but it's it's doing the same thing that we've been doing. We've been talking about rhythms and listening to words and figuring out which rhythm fits with the word. Again, you're counting kind of syllables and thinking about how you say them just in normal, regular life. And then that kind of helps you choose the rhythm for it. So have a great week and we will see you again next week.